Hello everybody and welcome to this quick tips video. My name is Mitchell and today I am going to show you how to rotate elements in your Revit project around their local Z axis using Dynamo. To demonstrate this, I will place down a number of architectural columns in the project so we have something to work with. I'll copy them a few times again, just for some more content. And what I'll also do is I'll just copy them and paste them to level one so that we have them on multiple floors as well. Just to show you that this is not view specific, but you can do this project wide. The purpose of what I want to do here is let's say that I want to grab all of these columns in my project and rotate them by 20 degrees. Now, if I wanted to do that using Revit, what I would essentially have to do is select each one, activate the rotate command and rotate them by 20 degrees. All right, so that's one at a time. Um, and you can see that that's obviously quite time consuming. The reason why I have to do that is because if I selected multiple columns and I activated my rotate command and I rotated by 20, of course, that is rotating the entire column grid. It's not keeping the elements where they are and rotating them around their own local Z axis. So that's where Dynamo comes in and that's where we can use the software to help us with this. I'll go ahead and launch Dynamo and I will start a new project over here. Now you can do this with out of the box Dynamo files so you don't have to download any external packages. All the tools are available to you immediately ready to use. The first thing that I will do is drop in the rotation command that I specifically would like to use here. So to do this, I'm gonna right click on the canvas and I'll just start typing the word rotation. And this specific node called set rotation is what we need to use. Set rotation specifically rotates elements around their local Z axis. So wherever your items insertion point is, that is where they will rotate around. So when I place columns, for example, if I go and activate my column tool, you can see that my cursor is at the center of the column. That is where it will rotate it from. If I grab an item like a desk, you can see that the desk, its insertion point is actually in the bottom left hand corner. So that is where it would rotate from. Okay, so it's all based on the item's insertion point and that is where it's going to rotate the item from. If I go back to Dynamo, the way that I am going to collect the items that I want, which are my columns, is I'm going to use the category selection tool. So I'm gonna to come to Revit selections, all elements of category, and I'm gonna use the categories tool here to go and choose the, the Revit categories that I would like to select. So for me, it is columns. It is important to notice that there is a difference between columns and structural columns. Okay, so structural columns are literally your structural columns inside of Revit. So when you activate the column tool, you have structural columns and architectural columns. Architectural columns are just columns inside of Dynamo. And then your structural columns relate to your structural columns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect these up. And then the last thing that I need is a degree. So how much do I wanna rotate them by? For me, I'm just gonna use a code block here. So I'm gonna double click on the canvas and I'm gonna input 20. Before I connect them up, I'm actually gonna switch my execution method here to a manual execution because I don't want it to set to automatic because then it will immediately make the change live in my project and perhaps I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'm gonna connect this up and I will just uh, make this screen a little bit smaller and move it off to the side so that I can see my columns here in the background. Okay, so that's all I need to do. Very, very simple setup, four nodes. And now if I select run, you'll notice that all of my columns rotate on their own local axis by 20 degrees. Okay, and again, that is a project wide change. So if I go to my 3D view, I can see that my top columns have also rotated. Now again, I can set this up in a number of different ways. I can, I, I can choose to only rotate things that I can see or things on a certain level or I can do it project wide like I've done here. The benefit to doing this, of course, is that once again, you can select multiple items throughout your entire project and you can rotate them around their own local Z axis so they can remain in place exactly where they are and just rotate from that location. And again, going back to Dynamo, very, very simple setup here, four nodes in order to execute this function. You can, of course, choose whatever category you would like. I hope this quick tip was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see anything else and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.